Hi everyone, welcome back. And today we'll be making a birthday cake. I'm gonna let my sister tell you a little bit about that. We're making a birthday cake for my daughter. Can you believe it? She turned 40 years uh, old. Time flies. <laughs> 40, and she's my baby girl. I have a baby boy who is 33. So we're gonna make, she want a fun fatty and we're not making it from scratch because she do like the box cake. So we're gonna do a fun fatty cake and it's gonna be a small cake because she wanna be able to hold it in her hands and take pictures with it. So we're gonna be making that and we're gonna go buy the box ingredients and we're gonna tweak it here and there for ourselves. So let's get started. You know, one of these things on here said, um, if you don't want to use the whole egg, you can just use the egg white. Who always have a problem on what to do with those yellow yolk? Or do you just use the egg white in the carton? Who you suggest? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, let's get started. The box said, I got the egg this time. The whole thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need some? Yeah. So this is how it looks the in the box. I'm used to showing makeup videos and showing me how stuff looks, so. Oh, I forgot to say, my name is Shirley Ann, and I have a YouTube channel also where I do natural hair and makeup. And I, this time, I'll put it in the link. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees and they say coat bottom up pan with non-stick cooking spray or shortening and a flour dusting. Um, we're using a bacon non spray. Can you do it, Josh? Sticking spray. But you know, it's a big controversy going on about um, using the aerosol spray for the bacon and the, the um, non-stick spray for the skillet. They trying to say it's not good for you because it got something in it. So you can always go to the old fashioned way of putting shortening and dusting it with some flowers and knocking that out. You can always do that. It's just quicker and we done came used to mm -hmm. quickness. Um, I already put the, the, mix, the, the mix. And then it's a cup of water. So it say water. What is the water? I'm doing it. Oh, it asks for water, but we're gonna do a cup of almond milk or milk? Milk. A cup of milk. And then it asks for a half a cup of oil, and you could do a half a cup of melted butter to bring up the flavor in the cake if you want. But we use an oil, because we already got milk in here. Half of us are lactose tolerant. Yes. And it asks for three whole eggs or four egg white, and we're using the whole eggs. She like doing the one hand thing. What's wrong with the one hand thing? I'll be gonna crunch that whole egg up. One. And we're gonna do the two small ones with the batter that's left over. We're gonna make cupcake. Cause my grandbaby who is two also think it's got something to do with her. <laughs> that she needs a cake also. So my sister told her she can make her some cupcakes to go with it. Because she loved the sprinkled cupcakes too. Yeah. You like sprinkles? No. I don't like I don't, sprinkles. I'll eat them, but I don't care for them. I don't like that they crunch. I don't like them on top of stuff. I don't like them. Yeah. I probably will not be eating these. I don't know. But I usually don't like because they don't get, they crunchy. And they pretty much stay crunchy. Yeah. And then when you bake them, they even crunchy. We're going to add a little, uh, like one fourth of a teaspoon of kitchen bouquet. She's making this box cake her own. <laughs> there you go. And then they say we're gonna mix this on medium speed for like two. I'm gonna turn the handle. Two minutes. About two minutes. 
because you don't want to overheat the cake either, right? I'm gonna pull that down. I like, I like who's making a homemade, um, just making sure half the way through to make sure everything is up. You know what I remember as I was beating this cake? <laughs> I did used to make box, we used to make box cake when we was little. Like not little, I was 16 and me and my sister Joyce wasn't the cook then, she was the baby. <laughs> yeah, I but, had to do anything. <laughs> me and my sister, the one that passed away, she, we used to make box box cake and we used to make them our own. And when people was in church, you know how people go, I can tell, I can tell. We used to take them cake and when we got through with them, they didn't know there was box cake and we was it was always request yeah. that we make cakes for the what was the, that in friend and family yeah. in the church. And we would make cake. The, oh. The um these these are new pans that we're using. And it calls for so much a bag to go pull it in and call it a day. Because you know with the bigger pans you have that room. But I was telling my sister we don't want it to turn out looking like a cupcake. <laughs> so I say two cups. You sure you think? Yeah, it says two cups per pan. Per pan to make two inch cakes. So we're gonna have to get the rest of that batter. Oh, we might not have none left. It's, That's different. You well, think? think? This is two cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ain't gonna scrape the bottom out. We only gonna use what come out the cup. Maybe we make a one or two cupcakes. It might not be in. I can't believe this. Hmm. Okay. That still should be fine. Get your bubbles out. Then. Oh, you want me to put them in? <laughs> I can put them in. <laughs> so we'll be putting those in the oven at 350 degrees. Here it says for when you insert a toothpick in the center and it comes out done clean, the cake is done. It don't even tell you the time. But it should be around 34 to 38 minutes. So you Let's see. Scoop, uh, this we get, I think we need to. Can I? I don't know. We're going to use the little scooper. It looked like it might be three cupcakes. You might. A quart. I shouldn't put that in now. Yeah. Well, let's see. How much you, you just That's do? That's enough. One? Look out. See how it look in the, in the thing when you put it in there. Because you yeah, don't want enough. it to be yeah, too. Yeah, you don't want it to. Overflow. Can you straighten those little sides? All of them, they was in the thing like that. Yeah, I think they're a little stupid with that. Oops, that's the one I gotta go to next. My sister that scraped the last bit out the pan. I, don't think I also remember good. we didn't make our own icing. We would use the icing in the container, but we would scoop it out and whip the icing up. And then sometimes you can add flavor to it, like a little bit more vanilla, a little bit more something to it. We used to do the icing like that. 
So that's why I had never seen in person what icing looks like. So we got to make two little cake and four cupcakes and the cupcake only need 19 to 25 minutes. I'm gonna put a timer. At 19 minutes, we'll check the cupcake and we can also check the cake at that time. And we'll be back. Okay, we're back. We have a little good news. We come from Matthews 18 and 20. And my sister's gonna recite the verse. Where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. And we know God said wherever I am, he is. But he said when we are gathered together, he is in the midst mm -hmm. of us. That we're praying on behalf of someone else. That no matter what is what is going on, he is there. And even when we're alone, sometimes God is there. Even though he said we're two and three are gathered. When we're together trying to pray for something or try to get something to happen within the family or the church, two or three together. But we know when we're alone, we just pray to God as well and he is there. And when it's saying like two or three, it's like if you call up, if you, you know, we ain't not that texting. We text up a couple of people, a few people, and we tell them, like, we need prayer. Two or three hey. people are together. They're together on that prayer, and we're going to start praying. So it's two or three, even in that form, mm -hmm. are together and praying. And if all of us get together and pray for something, God say, I'm in the midst. Amen. And he will answer prayer. I'm a living witness that he will answer prayer. So it's good to get, get a prayer partner and pray with them. Mm -hmm. But pray yourself as well, because yes. God is able. Yes. And if you want to know how to pray, praise God, read the Psalms. Because David put down a dangerous piece of praying to God. He That man can pray. Yes, and he can lift up God's name. If you want to know how to lift up God, read the Psalms. Because David was lifting up God's to heights that I never even thought to, to lift him up to like Amen. it brings all the thoughts Amen. of what he can do for you and where he's at and, and he knows all God yeah. knows everything and all things she so said where I am he is there no matter where I am he is there and what you going oh through. lord I thank you I love thank him you. I love him I love him okay hi everyone we're back the cakes are out of the oven and it took about nine minutes for the cakes to cook. And we're gonna let them cool in their pan for about 10 minutes. Just let's just see how they look. So pretty. And then we're gonna flip them out and put them on the cooling rack and let them cool for maybe 30, 40 minutes. Then we'll be back to icing them. Okay, they have cooled down. We brushed them a little with some vanilla syrup just to give them that extra moisture. Now we're getting ready to make the cream cheese icing. You know, I was telling my sister, that's the size cake we should be baking because it's only the two of us in here to eat. Well, it's three of us now. But <laughs> her daughter moved back in. And her daughter, well, her daughter didn't never say she left, so she just was out for a little while. Yes. So we make the cream cheese icing. We use a half a stick. Uh -huh. A half a cup. I have a stick. Put it in that bowl. She has to take half out because it's a half a stick, not a half a cup. She's putting okay. that over to the side. side. Now I get to see what frosting look like because you know in my other video I was like, she's talking, what is the consistency you looking at? I don't know. I never made homemade frosting. We're going to do four ounces of cream cheese. You want to get the cutter? The cutter? The, never mind now. The scissors? Yeah. Oh, that's what I was thinking about. And it has the little one, two, three, four ounces. Is this going to be enough sugar? On here. No, that's not enough. We need one cup. 
one cup of sugar because it's not, not we're not making a lot of them remember so we're gonna mix this up before we put the sugar in oh you gotta mix it first how long are you gonna mix that No vanilla? Yeah, that's coming up. But I don't know how much, this, you only need a cup of sugar. Why you need me a half a cup? So I can just dump it all in there? I don't know how much that is. Can you just dump? Yeah. Okay. It might be a cup. Is it? Oops. I think it is. Cause you remember I had some fill in there. Okay. A half a teaspoon of vanilla. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're gonna use a little bit of kitchen bouquet. You can do a half a teaspoon or whatever you want. A little bit more, a little bit less. What a kitchen bouquet taste like? It just tastes bakerish, buttery, <laughs> cakerish. <laughs> <laughs> it just it tastes good. Gives it a, a little extra. Right. Extra flavor. That's all the icing. That's all the icing. Because we only use, I didn't go to the full thing. I usually do a whole stick of that, a whole stick of that, a little extra of this, a little extra of that. Okay. But now we cut it in half because you didn't want that much icing. So it turned beige because of what? The French vanilla? Yeah. Hey. I think that's pretty good. Mm hmm. So, so I cut the top of this off. You're trying to make it flat as possible. That's how her so daughter gonna be too. Hook up in the middle. Am I saying that right? Humped up in the middle or whatever. This is first for us now. Trying to make this cake. Flat. It's a birthday cake. <laughs> I think this one's fine. This that one just was so high. So which one? Bring this one. Go go. Yeah. You see? We still got a gap. If you cut that, yeah. uh, put the put this on the bottom. Which one? The one you that one. also flip this like, like that. that, and then, and then that. put this like that. Okay, okay, like this, like that. Yeah. Okay. We learn it. We learn. Yeah. So we can bring this one first. Put a little bit so it don't move. Oh. I don't know if that's the center. Right here. Yeah. You get ice in that. I get the ice. With this? Don't you want ice in the middle or no? Yeah, with this thing right here. Yeah, all that, you can't do it with that, or you want me to get your, but you can use this. If you can't use that. You know what I'm worried about? It's the main thing I don't even need. What? <laughs> the icing. Yeah. Do you think we need I to? Think that's nice. Do we need to take some off the it top? It depends on how flat your daughter talks about she wants the top of the cake. <laughs> This is her 40th birthday cake. So we're trying to make it, you know. And we don't mess it up. Usually people use um, a thing. Oh. What? I remember she said she wanted that off, but whatever. Well, what off? 
See what I'm talking about? <laughs> She's just going to get this. She's going to get yeah, this. Uh, it's a cake. We're not professional bakers. <laughs> like that's good. What y'all think? That's even. It's even to me. Can I brush some of this vanilla? Oh, I've got it all. Yeah, you put that one down on top. Where's that thing going? It's just, this is just vanilla coffee syrup. Cake is so sweet to me. You now you're doing the rest. Let me step to the side. <laughs> Cause I put that middle. Mm -hmm. Did you fluff that some more or did you thought it was fine? I thought it was it's you said creamy. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. She don't want decoration. She just want it flat. It's pretty. So this is a simple birthday cake request. I ain't gonna touch the bottom. See, I like it when you see the cake like that. But we're not professional bakers. No, we not. She better be appreciative <laughs> <laughs> that we made it. We're not gonna be able to taste the cake. That's it. She don't want, she's pretty much basic like her mom. I don't want a lot of icing. I don't want flowers on it because who eat those? I don't. Well, I guess some people do eat them, not being offensive. But that is just a plain birthday cake. And maybe during the party, any a party, a gathering, because I'm going to do a shrimp ball for her, we'll come back and let you know how it tastes. But if we don't, I want to thank you again for coming by and watching my channel. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next upload.